So I'm Michael Colby. I'm Aiden Colby, and these are our children, Reagan and Adeline. We've seen growth in our uh, life and our relationship with Jesus Christ by really connecting with a group of people who are able to uh, disciple us in faith. Um, not having grown up in a church, not really having grown up in a Christian family, it's really um, been since, you know, teenage years when I accepted Christ that I've been really trying to figure out, okay, what's next? And we're really blessed to have many very strong Christians in our group, but also some uh, leaders who really are very well versed in the Bible and are able to, to really take things that we know about Christ and really point to scripture and say, yes, here's the evidence that this is true and, and really dig in and, and get past the surface of, of uh, Bible passages. It's an extension of, of Sunday morning in, in the sense of we're, you know, our learning about Christ and who he is doesn't stop on Sunday morning. So I think our, our life has changed uh, by joining a life group because we have a little bit more of a, the social aspect of church uh, than we would previously. Um, we, being a military family, you know, we, we show up and, you know, we didn't grow up in this church. We don't, we don't have uh, established roots with all the other people that are here. So when we get somewhere, we want to establish some of those relationships, build friendships, and we want to build them quick. Um, and, and a life group really gave us that opportunity. Kind of what Aiden was saying, you know, that when you, you can't always do that on a Sunday morning when you come into worship. You need to have uh, some other social time. So uh, the life groups, I think, are, are very strategically um, laid out so that you're with individuals that are, and, and families that are in the same life situation as you are, you know, ones that have kids or around the same age or, you know, uh, other, other individuals that are the same age. So you have the ability to build those relationships quickly and, and to establish a, uh, a good group of folks that all you know, believe in Christ and, and uh, just are, are comfortable sharing their faith and, and their journey. So uh, for anyone that was actually looking uh, to join a life group, I, I'd say just you know, get, get out there and try it and, and don't don't give it one or two one or two chances. I mean, you really need to you need to go and meet the group. You need to build the friendships and the relationships that are going to be there. And it's going to take you know, two or three meetings if you meet once a week uh, to really have them understand your story. You understand their their story and to really build that dynamic and and allow you to grow together and and become friends and, and like I said, basically become family. It's not something that's going to happen instantly, but when you're with a life group, it's amazing how quickly those bonds are built. So I'd say just give it a shot because it's a great thing to do. If I were to get to talk to really all the congregation about about joining a life group, I would say just do it. Um, you know, I. This may be the first time that everyone in my life group knows this, but when I first um, went to probably the first couple, three nights, I'm, you know, it was the end of a, we, go, we meet Friday night, it's the end of a long work week, we both work full time, we've got young kids, and doing another thing at the end of a week just felt like overwhelming. And so the first couple days, I was just like, oh man, we get home, our, we're so exhausted, our children are so exhausted. And so it took a little bit of time to kind of form those those connections. And, and for a little bit, it felt like maybe that wasn't going to happen or um, uh, that it was going to take too much time out of our, you know, busy schedule. And now we don't miss it. Um, we these these people are our people. They're they're our family. We don't. Our nearest family is thousands of miles away. So this this is our family. These are our people that if you know if life gets rough, those are the people that are going to know about it first, are going to step in, and that as the relationship grows, you're not afraid to be vulnerable in front of these people where you might want to try to put your uh, good face on on Sunday and, you know, dress up like I show up to my life group in my pajamas, you know, because these, you know, these are people that that are going to love on me no matter what.